Good afternoon, students. Uh, welcome today again to a series of uh, lectures in LEADS 2010, um, basically cataloging classification. Um, last time when we had we met, we were looking at uh, uh, the physical forms of catalogs. Then uh, later on, we looked at um, the uh, arrangement of uh, records uh, in a, a catalog. Basically, uh, we're looking at it, uh, a card catalog, how are the entries arranged, and that helps us to determine the type of catalog based on the inner uh, arrangements of the bibliographic records. Today, I want to quickly uh, look at um, uh, what criteria can we use uh, to determine a, a catalog. Supposing you are given an opportunity uh, to determine the form of catalog that you'd want uh, to use in your library. Now, uh, catalogs are judged by uh, a set of criteria, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll run through them. One of them uh, is the uh, updateness. Uh, how easy can we update uh, this catalog? Because we, we remember uh, a, a library is a growing organism, uh, meaning that uh, uh, it keeps on getting new um, information resources uh, and also the old information resources uh, weeded out of the library when they become obsolete. So a, 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 a catalog being a record or an inventory of the library collection must be easily updated to reflect the new um, uh, materials that have been bought or acquired uh, by the library and also it must be easily updated to remove uh, records of materials that have been removed or weeded out of the library. Uh, so updating, is it, is it easy to update? That is a very important uh, um, uh, criterion. And another important criterion is uh, what we call hospita hospitality, meaning how easy can we insert bibliographic records or entries into this catalog. Um, old catalogs like a book catalog, it's impossible to insert in new records. Uh, that's why uh, book catalogs, you have to uh, have supplements and later on you have to overhaul the entire catalog again. But uh, uh, a computerized catalog allows, it has that uh, flexibility to allow inserting new bibliographic records uh, anywhere within the catalog as easily as possible. Uh, another uh, criteria we look for in uh, a, a form of a catalog is uh, um, how much space can it occupy? You know, card catalogs occupy huge space. As the catalog grows, uh, as the collection grows, you add new bibliographic records and you keep on increasing uh, more trays, more cabinets and so on. So, you know, the disadvantage of card catalogs that they occupy a huge space. But computerized catalog will occupy very small space. All you need is a, a, a saver, which is just any computer which occupy very little space. And uh, it has enormous storage uh, for millions of bibliographic records. Um, another issue you look at is uh, uh, how durable, durability, how durable is this catalog? Uh, a catalog is heavily used, so it must be able to withstand this heavy usage by uh, uh, users. Uh, book catalogs get easily sold up. Uh, uh, shift catalogs also suffer the same consequence of getting sold up, sometimes even torn. Card catalogs uh, uh, withstand usage for a longer period, but the best catalogs that are very durable are 
computerized catalogs, the online public access catalog. So durability is important. Uh, so uh, uh, how cheap is it? Another issue. Uh, how cheap is or how expensive is this catalog? We, 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 we know that uh, um, book catalogs may appear to be cheaper, um, shift catalogs as well, but uh, computerized catalog uh, initially they're expensive because you have to buy by the hardware, the software, uh, uh, and depending on the library management system you are using, uh, it might appear to be very expensive, but in the long run they become cheaper. Yeah, and to, nowadays we have uh, softwares that are open source, that are free, so uh, they, they are cheaper. Uh, eventually they become cheaper. Yeah. Um, of course, uh, you, you need to also uh, consider how many uh, users can access this catalog at the same time, simultaneously. Now, a book catalog can only be accessed by one user at a time. Uh, a card catalog allows many users, as long as they don't uh, access information on the same tray. But a computerized catalog, it can be used by thousands of users at the same time. So in the, uh, a nutshell, uh, these are the, um, the, the issues that you consider when uh, choosing a form of a catalog. Uh, the, uh, durability, uh, the number of users that I can access the catalog at the same time, uh, the space that it should occupy, uh, is it bulky, is it, um, you know, compact, uh, how up to date, can, how can you easily update it, uh, the, the, is it expensive or cheap uh, to, to acquire the, the cabinets and the hardware, the software, what, whatever, uh, is it expensive or cheap? So, briefly, that's what uh, uh, the major factors you consider. Thank, thank you, Doc. One quick question. Could, could, could um, ap apart from the development in technology, mm -hmm. could, um, what, what, um, what, what would you say about the growth of uh, the online, uh, 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 the OPAX uh, catalogs based on this? Criteria. Yeah, uh, when you're looking at the modern catalogs now, which is uh, online public access mm -hmm. catalogs, mm -hmm. you need to consider also the software that you're using, the application program. Uh, I mean, the, the the library management program that you are using, uh, because uh, um, you need to consider who is the supplier of that program. Uh, are they credible? Can they, uh, it easily be updated frequently? updated or edited you know revised uh, and also um is it uh, ex cheap can you sustain the subscriptions for it uh, i would go for 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 uh, uh open source like koha uh, which is widely used because you have to look at the user group and the uh, and this track record uh, you need to look for support can you find it uh, support, technical support. Uh, so these are factors that you need to consider. Please, yeah.